that your fishy? Mm -hmm. What's your fishy called? So let's talk about the polar blue parrot cichlids. Now I saw these guys on Facebook, um, probably in a Facebook group, and somebody had bred them. And being part convict, we know that they'd prob these fish were probably going to breed pretty easily. But they seem pretty new. Uh, a lot of people are excited about them. Uh, I love the way they look. And blue is one of my favorite colors. So of course I'm going to be a sucker for these guys. I like parrots. I like cichlids. And then you put this all together. And I've got one adorable fish. Now these hybrid cichlids maybe originally came from Taiwan, but now they're all over the world, which is awesome. Uh, they're not too aggressive unless they're protecting those little fry that you see up there. Um, we've got quite a bit of fry, which is really exciting. We're you know, looking forward to those fish growing up and seeing if we can breed more, which I'm guessing we can because it took only about two weeks to get these fish to breed after we brought them home. Maybe not even that long. And we're keeping them in 78 degree um, water. We actually had the opportunity to see where the female laid her eggs. Um, she laid the eggs in like a PVC pipe and um, they were both, the male and female, were both really protective of that area so we kind of figured what was happening there and then um, not long after that we had a bunch of little wigglers. Overall this cichlid is a pretty hardy fish. They'll eat just about any fish food we give them. They love the f uh, frozen blood worms. They'll have you know pellets, flakes, the dry food, you know the works. Um, let me know if you guys are excited about this newer fish in the hobby. Um, I know people can get kind of edge about hybrids, but I do really think these are beautiful fish, um, manageable in a, in a tank, and they breed uh, fairly easy, so it's a really fun experience to have them.